Jillian, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing fantastic. Um, is this your first time at ABNs? Um, it's my first time signing and uh, being a part of the award show. But I did attend last year as you know a little fan, you know, just to see how everything operated and to get a good feel out. So I knew I wanted to come this year. So. So how? What do you think of ABNs now? Oh, it is. It was so much fun, and I love the fact that I get to meet all these fans. You know, it's really. It's a different change when you see a fan and you hug them and you you feel their heartbeat and they're just going so fast and they're so excited to see you and it's so so different because I've never signed before so it's it's been wonderful. <laughs> so how long have you been in the business so far? I've been in for a little over a year, so since August of 2013. What made you decide to go into the business? I love sex. <laughs> um, you know, honestly, I didn't really do it for the money or anything. Of course, I, I look at it as a, it's a regular job anyone else would have. Of course, we make, you know, a good amount, but it, it's for a good reason. And, uh, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> Has porn helped you to discover stuff about yourself you didn't know? Oh, absolutely. I, I just got better sexually. My personality just got more and more you know positive upgoing and because when I was back at home people didn't really accept who I like the, the fact that I like to have sex so you know and I mainly did it for the fact that I kind of wanted to be famous but you know I was never good at singing I didn't think I I didn't realize you know if I could dance so you know porn is just always sex has always been my thing and I've always watched it so I knew the categories that turned me on I knew exactly what I wanted to do so I was shooting your first scene it was the first thing I ever did was a photo shoot so that was pretty you know mellow but um, the second day I shot for like a POV, which it wasn't like a big set or anything. So it was kind of nice that it was, you know, kind of a one on one thing. Uh, not like a private or anything, but there was cameras and, and you know, two, three people, makeup and everything. And um, I was a little nervous. Not much because I just, I wasn't actually informed about who I was like fucking pretty much. I thought a talent was supposed to come in later, which is exactly what happens. Girls have a, a earlier call time than guys do. So I thought that was going to happen, but then I realized it was a photographer. It was the for amateur lore. That's how they do things. And we were kicking it off really cool. We had a lot of things in common. So we like became friends, and then that's when I realized he was doing the shoot. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. Like, yay. Like, I mean, we have chemistry. Like, it wasn't just going to be another random person to come on. So, it was it was easy going. I mean, it was it made me feel so comfortable. So, that's a really long answer, but <laughs> your first time with the world was on camera, correct? Absolutely, it was. It was the Sharon Lee, and it was quite an experience because I've been watching porn for a while. And I'd always gone to the lesbian categories. I was always bisexually curious. But never in my life thought where I was in the environment where I lived in Minnesota would it be appropriate to have, you know, a relationship with any girl. So when I got in the business, I automatically knew that's exactly when I'm going to... I gotta go for a girl. And at, right now, at this point in time, I don't want a boyfriend. I want a girlfriend. <laughs> I want to wake up just like you men get to and eat pussy every day. Oh, that would just be the dream. <laughs> what is the key to eating pussy good? Honestly, sometimes it's, it's nice to build it up and go really fast, but you gotta build it up. So the key is to go slow and sensual. You know, you gotta just get in there like you're making out with it, like you just, for the very first time, and just, you know, write your ABCs, do your la la la's, na 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 na, gotta go for it. <laughs> but suck, sucking the clit is where it's gonna go, because we have a tiny little 
I don't know what everything is called scientifically, but there's a little bar in there, and it's kind of like our little penis. You can jack us off, you can like sucking, you can jack us off. Exactly what you guys do, and that makes us cum, makes us pulse, like gush. <laughs> and that's what I like doing. I like masturbating, I like when guys do it. It's, it's a great feeling, seriously. <laughs> I have so many. I mean, I ran into like half of them here at the show. Manuel, Eric Everhart, Chad White. I really don't want to feel bad leaving anyone out, but everyone, you're awesome. Like, seriously, they're in this business. Johnny Stins, I mean, they're all in this business doing what they do for a reason. <laughs> It's hard to keep up. A lot of these guys have to work every day and they have to literally come out with a product. <laughs> you know what I mean? Us girls, we have multiple orgasms inside our bodies and you can't even tell if we're really having an orgasm or not. Well, you can tell if I am. But a lot of girls, you can't. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> Is there anybody you'd like to shoot with? Oh, I mean, if you're talking about anybody, I want to shoot with Riley Reed, Carmen Karma. Uh, I can't even say people's names right now. Uh, I want to shoot with Nina Hartley. Uh, I shot. I just shot with Bonnie. Um, Annika Albright. Oh my God! Everyone basically in the booth <laughs> that I was at. <laughs> uh, Danny Daniels. We've been in the same scene. But we didn't really get to devour each other, like one-on-one, -on -one, like that kind of thing. So hopefully someday. What's your, uh, since now that you know you like girls as well, what's your type of girls? I really like, uh, I'm a very independent person. I'm kind of, i mature, like class. I like a woman with class. You know, like the dark long hair, the kind of like Brazilian woman, if I can put like a label on it. But you don't have to be Brazilian, but you just have that look. Like the Kim Kardashian look. If that's a good way to put it. Kind of like that, but better. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love Kim, but <laughs> I'm not hating. <laughs> but I honestly, there's... I ain't got no type. <laughs> Bad bitches is the only thing that I like. <laughs> so what do you do when you're in your spare time? My spare time, well, I was found webcamming, so I do that sometimes. Uh, I don't really do it for the money. I do it to express my personality to my fans. So I'll just like sit in the chat room for a while and just hang out. Um, otherwise, I have a cat. So I just lounge around my cat, watch TV, snuggle, you know. That's all the pussy I have in my life right now. <laughs> what do you have lined up? Actually, I know you, what do you have lined up with projects? Well, I have a showcase coming up with the company. Um, we're doing some really cool things, some ideas of mine that I want to put out there, pin up. I really love the glam pin up kind of, and, and we're going to do this cool little concept that you know I'm not going to tell you because you got to see. Um, but we're shooting that this month. Um, and then this year has been so great so far, shooting wise. I've shot with Bonnie and Manuel. We did a wonderful scene. And then <laughs> shot with Danny, or no, not Danny. I want to shoot Danny. Uh, Maddie O'Reilly and Vicky Chase. We did a really great scene uh, with lots of spit and butts. <laughs> um, otherwise, there's just. You know, a lot of stuff coming out with the typical companies that I've been shooting with. So, you know, Evil Angel, Jewels, um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm working on everything I can. You're also going to be a trophy girl at AVNs, correct? Yes, I am. It was, I mean, it was, it was dream come true because I never really put myself out there and said like, hey, 
can my you know can my fans help me you know get the attention of you know AVN so I can be a trophy girl you know um, following in wonderful ladies' footsteps literally. Um, <laughs> so honestly, it was a big big surprise, but I was so happy. I, I jumped up and down the wall, side to side, like everything. <laughs> so I'm honored. I'm so excited, and it's going to be great being up there on stage and seeing everyone <laughs> staring at me. Hopefully, I don't get stage fright. <laughs> okay, any final words? Uh, well, I seriously appreciate all the love from all the fans I have out there. Thank you so much for loving me for exactly who I am. I know I've changed and matured. I've gotten sexier. I hope you agree, because <laughs> I was a little bit. I had a bigger booty, bigger, bigger built, and uh, I just lost it. And you know, I feel wonderful. So I hope you guys think the same. <laughs> so I thank you so much for being here with me.